Hello and welcome to session 10 of Functional Skills Maths. We are looking at adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing decimals up to three decimal places. So let's get into this. The aims and outcomes by the end of this session, learners must be able to add, subtract decimal places up to three points. Learners should be able to multiply decimals up to three points. And learners could also divide decimals up to three points. Learners will be assessed on their ability to add, subtract and multiply. So decimal numbers, three points. You've got the number on here. You can see it's 2.754 and it's three numbers from the right hand going in. So our three numbers there are 754, which are seven tenths, five hundredths and four thousandths. OK. Adding and subtracting decimal numbers, we must line them up correctly. So we go from units, tens and hundreds. Um, which then makes it easy for us to add up. So we set the calculation up like this, uh, making it nice and easy for us to add up. We start from the right-hand corner and we work our way over. So six plus three, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, five is seven, that's three. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, that's two. One and five is six. So that's 62,379. And that's how you show your work and out to get the points in the exam. Subtracting exactly the same way. We started from the right to the left. We're now going to take six from nine. Uh, obviously, you can't take six from nine. So we're going to borrow the one from here to come over. So that's now 16 minus nine. And you can see that that's 17. Uh, sorry. So... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, that's uh, 7. You've got 7 minus 4, which is 3. You've got 2 minus 7, which can't be done. So we're going to borrow the one here, bring it over. That's uh, 7, 12 minus 7, so that's 5. And then you're left with 6 from 0 is 6. So £65.37. So your answer is £72.86 minus £7.49 equals £65.37. So here we're going to uh, add and subtract decimal numbers in context. Joseph goes to the cafe, she buys a piece of cake, it's £2.65. She adds a cup of tea of £1.79. How much does she spend altogether? So again here, 5 and 9 equals 14. Carry the 1 down there. 7 and 7 equals 14. Carry the 1 down there. Uh, two and one plus one is four. So it's four pounds 44. Uh, if she's got a 10 pound note, how much change does she receive? You're just now going to do it as a subtraction again. So we're going to do 10 pounds minus 4.44. Um, again, you can't take nothing from four. So we're going to borrow the one. You can't take nothing from four. So we're going to borrow the one. You can't take nothing from four. So we're going to borrow the one. And then here, we're going to bring the one over. So that's now zero. We're now going to borrow that over here. So that now becomes a nine and that becomes a nine as well. So nine minus four is six. Nine minus four is six. One, uh, sorry. And then um, That's going to be, again, 10 minus 4 is 5. So that's £5.56. What I tend to do is I just round it up, which is easier. So I would go, uh, and again, it's entirely up to you on here. I would go uh, 4 plus, so 1 turns out to a 5. So that's 5. To turn that to 50p is is 6p. Yeah, so 4 plus 6 turns that to 50p. So that's 56p. That turns that to 5, five pounds 56. So again, you can do it either way. Um, but if you've got a calculator, it's up to you. Uh, that's 5 pounds 56. Multiplying then. Um, so uh, for example, the calculation here, uh, we can relate um facts to help solve problems for example calculate 0 0.05 times 27 uh, we can do 5 times 27 is 135 or we can even work this out a bit in our heads 
and we can use our standard multiplication using 5 times 75 is 133. Then 0 0.5 times 75 is 13.5. Add uh, and 0 0.05 times 75 is 135. So the answer is 1.35. Another way to multiply decimal numbers is to use uh, the lattice method, also known as is that Napier's bones. Uh, this is a grid method where you can use previous, uh, which we've used previously with integers. Have a look at these to see if you can work out the following methods. So again, here you've got 12.3 times 45.6. Um, so you can do that going along and down. Uh, Again, I'll add a video on this, explain this a bit easier for you. Um, but again, if you want to do the lattice method or the neighbor's bones methods for multiplying, you can. Um, single digits are multiplied either together, populate the cell, for example, three times four. So three times four um, is... Three fours of twelve. Yeah, that's it. Um three fives are fifteen. Three sixes are eighteen. Two uh two fours are eight. Is that two fives are ten? And two sixes are twelve. And then one four one five one six. And now we're going to bring them down. So zero, four, five, uh, one. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So six, two, three, four. So sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's the zero. So we're just using the unit, the last number. Five, six, seven, eight, and eight. So that's quite an interesting way to multiply decimal numbers using the uh, lattice method. Um, but anyway, it works, right? Uh, you now have the answer five, six, oh, eight, eight. Uh, you find the decimal point at two numbers, follow the represented vertical horizontal lines until they meet, at which point the diagonal lines are followed. Uh, this will then be the position for the decimal point for the answer. The number being multiplied are then input into the side squares of the decimal points. When the cells have been populated, the digits between the diagonal lines are similar to start at the bottom uh, right at the grid. Oh, oops, should have started there then. Six, threes, eight, and so going up. Okay. Carry over tens into the next uh, diagonal where necessary and include di diagonal sum. That's the first time I've seen that. Okay, good. Multiplying decimal numbers in context then. So Ellis has 12 lengths of ribbon. Each is 0.4 metres long. What is the total length of her ribbon? To solve this, we do 12 times 0.4. We can use 12 times 4, which is 48. If 12 times 4 equals 48, then 12 times 0.4 is 4.8. So the answer is then 4.8 metres Dividing the integers and whole numbers by decimal numbers, calculate 35 divided by 0 0.7. This makes the calculator easier to multiply both numbers. Uh, we are divided, known as dividers. Then the numbers we are divided by are also called divisors by 10. Um, this is cool. This is because 35 divided by 0 0.7 is the same as 350 divided by 7. We do this as it's easier when the device uh, when the divisor is a whole number instead of a decimal. We can now use related facts to solve 30, 350 divided by seven. We know that a multiplication multiplication table that seven times five is thirty five. So thirty five divided by seven is five. If thirty five divided by seven equals five, then 
350 divided by 7 is 50. So the answer is 35 divided by 7.5 equals 50. So dividing decimal numbers by decimal numbers, calculate 2.8 divided by 0 0.04. We can use the same method for dividing whole numbers by decimal numbers. We can multiply both by the divided and the divisor, so by 100 to make each whole number. This is because 2.8 equals 0 0.04. It is the same as 280 divided by 4. We can now use related factors to solve 280 divided by 4. Uh, we know from our multiplication table that 4 times 7 is 28, so 28 divided by 4 is 7. 28 divided by 4 is 7, then 280 divided by 4 is 70. So the answer there is 2.8 divided by 0.04 equals 70. So long division with decibel numbers. Uh, place values is very important when doing long division. Digits need to preferably line up beneath each other. Example, 32 divided by 15. Set the division table out below. Immediately put the decimal point at the answer line directly above the one of the questions. Now let's start. So 15 divided by 34.2. So you can see there, 15 divided by 34.2. And again here, 4 is not divided by 15, so you divide 43 by 15. 1 times 5 equals 15. 2 times 15 equals 30, so that's there. 3 times 15 is 45, so choose 2 times 15 equals 30. Subtract 30 from 43, this gives a remainder of 13. Bring down the 2 in order to make it 13.8. 8 times 15 equals 120 there. Subtract 120 from 32. This gives you 12 there. There are no more numbers to bring down at this point. So your answer is 2.8 with a remainder of 12 uh, to be divided by 15. So long division with decimal numbers. However, you can take this one step further. You can insert a naught after the 2. Uh, as this does not change the value of the number. So bring the zero down in order to make it 120. So here we'll bring the number down. Uh, divide that by 15 uh, there. So you now have a more accurate answer of 2.88. Following the final digit decimal place, you can add as many zeros as you like. So, aims and outcomes, by the end of this session, learners must be able to add, subtract decimals up to three decimal places. Learners should be able to multiply decimals by three points. And learners could also aim to divide decimals up to three decimal places. And learners will be assessed in their ability to add, subtract, multiply, and divide decimals up to three places. Congratulations, you've now completed this module on adding, and subtracting, and multiplying, and dividing decimals up to three places. Now practice your skills with the activities and test your progress on our knowledge check. Lovely, and I will see you in the next session.